What's up guys? I hope you're all having a great day today. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be breaking down the Syracuse Orange 2020 football schedule. I'll tell you Syracuse was one of the most disappointing teams in all of college football last year. A major, major step back from how they played in 2018. I really don't think anybody saw uh, the season they had last year coming. I really think people thought this was going to be a very good football team again. Uh, possibly a ranked football team. But it was none of that. Syracuse overall last year finished 5-7. and seven. Their offense struggled. Their defense struggled. Uh, and, you know, I think Tommy DeVito, their quarterback, was one of the most sacked quarterbacks in all of college football. So overall, almost all aspects of Syracuse football uh, had a tough year last year. And they're going to need to hit this, the reset button, I think. They're going to really need to change things up a bit and hit the reset button. Dino Babbers has kind of done that. They got two new coordinators. For their offensive coordinator, they have Sterling Gilbert. And for their defensive coordinator, Tony White, both new uh, to the program. So we'll see how that goes with them. But without further ado, let's get into the schedule. It should be interesting. Again, it's a hard one to do considering, you know, I still have 2018 in the back of my head where they did pretty good and finished as a ranked team. But I also have 2019 in the back of my head where they finished 7 and or five and seven so it'll be interesting to see how Syracuse does but again it seems like they're in the, the reset button a little bit but man I feel like I don't know if they necessarily have the talent uh to become a ranked team again they really need to uh you know improve on their talent their recruiting class for this past season wasn't great either so that definitely hurts without further ado let's get into this all right, so number one, at rival Boston College. Rivalry game here, first week. It's on a Friday, should be an interesting one. Last year in the Dome, Boston College beat down Syracuse. I think Boston College is losing a lot of its main talent. Obviously, they just they just lost one of their quarterbacks to Oregon, and they lost their main running back. Uh, you know, I do think they're definitely going to be better coaching-wise, at least, because they're getting a few assistant coaches from Ohio State, and they're getting a, they're getting a new head coach, obviously. Uh, so overall, I definitely think Boston College uh, should be a better team, at least coaching-wise. Maybe not talent-wise, but coaching-wise, uh, they should be a better football team. I think it's close. I'm going to favor Boston College here, uh, but th this could definitely be a close game. It's a big rivalry game, but last year, I don't know what happened to Syracuse in that game they should have played close to Boston College but yeah just with the, I feel like with Jeff Halfley coming in as the head coach they should at least be a little bit better coaching wise Boston College so I favor the Eagles two at Rutgers another program that has a new new head coach Greg Schiano is back at Rutgers should be interesting to see how they do I'm going to take Syracuse here they are the better football team but you know it could be close Colgate should be an easy one. I think Syracuse wins that. At Western Michigan, I don't know why Syracuse scheduled a home-and-home -home series with Western Michigan, but for some reason they did. If they can't win this game, there's problems. They should win this game pretty easily, so I'll take Syracuse here. 5 Louisville. One of the most improved teams in all of college football last year, in my opinion. They were a really big shock after only having, I believe, two wins in 2018. They had a great season last year, won 8-5 and five overall Louisville. Overall, I think they're a pretty talented team. I would favor the Cards to win this one. I think they maybe finish second in the Atlantic like they did last year again. I think they're maybe an 8- or 9-win team, the Cards. So I'm going to take Louisville here. Six bye week, good time to have your bye week, right in the middle of the season. Seven Liberty, I believe Syracuse shut out Liberty last year. I don't think there'll be any trouble here. I'll I'll take the orange. Eight at Clemson, Clemson's so talented, it's at Death Valley. You know, Clemson just overall is the better team on all aspects of the football. I understand Syracuse a couple of years ago beat Clemson, and I believe in 2018 they nearly beat Clemson. So they had two years, they almost beat Clemson two years in a row. They just came came up short in 2018. But last year, they got destroyed by Clemson. And for this upcoming season, I think Clemson's even more talented than they were last year, especially on the offense. I think they're going to have a hard time stopping Yitian. Lawrence is still there. It's going to be hard. So I'll take the uh, Tigers here easily. Nine, Georgia Tech. I think Georgia Tech has a pretty good recruiting class. But besides from that, I really don't see any way that Georgia Tech is going to be good at all next season. I think they're still a pretty bad football team. Uh, so I'm going to take the orange here. I'm going to take them. But they do have a good recruiting class, Georgia Tech. So that could help them out. We'll see. 
10 at Wake Forest. All right, I'm skeptical skeptical about this game because Wake Forest last year lost to Syracuse by nine. It was probably Syracuse's best performance. It was the last week of the season, and Syracuse won by nine. With that being said, it's at Wake Forest, but also you have to take into account that Jamie Newman left Wake Forest. So a very interesting game here. I think it's very close. I feel like Syracuse might be slightly more talented. You know, usually Wake Forest has been the laughing stock of the ACC. Last year, that was not the case. But again, it's hard to see how this team will do without Jamie Newman, and Syracuse beat him last year. So hard ask. Uh, Hard prediction here. I think it's about a 50-50 ball game. Definitely close. 11 NC State. I think NC State's one of the worst teams in the conference. I really don't see uh, NC State giving Syracuse much of a challenge. Although I do, I do believe they beat Syracuse last year. But still, Syracuse should win this football game at home. So I'm going to take Syracuse here. 12 Florida State. Florida State, in my opinion, overall is a better football program. They have Mike Norville, a very good coach. I think they're going to be a pretty good team next year. They're actually in the preseason top 25 for the FBI. So I'm going to favor the Knowles here. 13 at Pittsburgh. I, I think Pittsburgh is going in, going in the wrong direction right now. I don't think the program is in a good spot. So I would favor Syracuse here. But at Pitt Lane, the season, not an easy place to play. They can definitely put up a good fight. So overall, looking at their schedule, I have the Orange around 7-5, and five, maybe 6-6. Six and six. I think losses at Boston College, at Clemson, Louisville, Florida State, and one more maybe. I think that gets you to 7-5. and five. Maybe it's 6-6 six and six if they have an even worse season than that. But overall, I feel like they'll improve a little bit, make a bowl game. I just don't feel like they have the talent yet. And, and right now, they're kind of in the middle of hitting the reset button. Uh, so I feel like it'll take time to get to where they were in 2018. They're still, I understand they did great that year, but they took a major step back last year. So it's going to take time to get back up to where they were in 2018. So overall, 7-5, and five, they can still make a decent bowl game. Uh, but yeah, de decent season for Syracuse. I think they're an average team, and they'll improve a little bit at least. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my other videos. Leave your comments down below, any recommendations and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it for now, guys.